and then you can kind of 750 oh that's a huge snipe welcome back to the channel and we're here with my annual video on how to snipe faster on eafc 24 but quickly guys if you need any eafc coins make sure to check out mulefactory.com they're linked in the description they're cheap and reliable and make sure to use my discount code i has eafc at checkout for a discount so i'm sure you guys know what sniping is but if you don't Pretty much you need to pick a player or a sniping filter, which make sure you do subscribe because I will have some filters coming on my channel. You need to find the minimum buy now of a card. So for example, I'm using Anyomi here. We can sell Anyomi for 1900 coins, which means we need to snipe her lower than 1900 in order to make a profit. Remember, when you sell a card, there's a 5% EA tax. So I always recommend looking at around maybe two, 300 coins lower than the sell price. Of course, if you're sniping a card that's 400 coins, you can pick them up for 300, but the profits won't be as big. And then to snipe, all you need to do is set your max price, press the right trigger up to 15 million. Your min price doesn't really matter. And you have to press search. OK, and then you have to change the filter. You can't just search again. You need to change the max price down one and then search. And when you see a card, you pick it up. And that was very great timing. Of course, the Anyomi we picked up for 1600 will sell on for 1900 It's like a 250 coin profit, which ain't that bad, and it didn't take very long. So again, you need to change the max price, search, press OK, change max price, search, press OK. When, of course, you finally see a card, for example, you press X, down, X, up, X. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot easier to just try and do it yourself rather than following it, but it's like X up, X down, up x you'll get the gist of it but a way to make sniping slightly easier we can see there's quite a few cards at 90 1100 oh we're a bit late on that one a way to make it easier is instead of flicking the stick to change the max price every time you can hold the left stick down on your controller and the price will constantly change on its own and then all you need to do is hit triangle and x to search and to snipe and you pick up cards that easily I feel like I do this video every year and it helps a lot of people out. There also is actually an even faster way to snipe, but it's a little bit awkward. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that one. But here, Anyomi, again, I'm pressing triangle and X with the left stick going all the way down, scrolling through the price. And then as soon as a card gets listed up, we pick it up on the snipe. There we go. 1300 coins listed up for 1900 like a 450 coin profit, a bit more after tax. But yeah, super simple stuff. But now we've got the hand cam. It's returned. I'll show you what my hands are doing because there's actually two methods, which one of them might look a little bit awkward, but can actually help you snipe even faster. So this should be in shop. Again, we'll double check the buy now price. We can see we can sell on Yomi. Going down a little bit, so maybe it might be 1800 coins for an instant sale. So again, we set the max price, hold left stick, and then you can go triangle X. Oops, I didn't actually set a buy price. We go 1500. Go triangle X, triangle X. And you just search this way. And then, of course, when you find the card, eventually, I'll probably cut to it. Oh, shit, here we go. 850. I was a little bit slow on that one. I kind of hesitated. But you can see that's how you can buy the card. But there is actually a different way you can hold the controller where you don't actually have to move your thumb. Either you can rest your thumb on X and triangle at the same time. And then you can kind of 750. Oh, that's a huge snipe. 750, we can list it up for, we've got 1800 for an instant sale. Um, Yeah, you can rock your thumb between, why is that? There's just instant cards. I'm not even getting to search. Well, this is great content. I'm showing you guys how to snipe, I guess. First time is a charm. So you can rock your thumb between X and triangle like this. Or another way I quite like to snipe sometimes is you move your finger. So you actually hit triangle with your index finger and press X with your thumb and you snipe this way. And again, it might feel a little bit awkward, but when you actually go to buy a card, you never have to move your thumb. So you can be really quick on hitting the X button. Also, I've realized I'm only at 1300 coins while these other cards sell on. So I'm going to need to lower the price slightly. 1300. And you see that super, super quick. 1300 list up for 1800 so i hope the hand cam and well my tutorial was pretty helpful however 
we actually have another way we can snipe. So the other way to snipe is actually even faster. This is probably the only way sometimes you can actually beat the bots. In order to do this sniping method, you need to come to your club, enter your club, enter your squad, and I'm sure you guys know there is actually a transfer market in the club. If you press L1, we then get to transfer market. So here, especially if you're losing a lot of snipes, I would recommend sniping through the club. Again, this isn't a guarantee to beat all the bots, but it should help quite a lot. So again, we'll put an Anyomi. I feel like the price is dropping slightly. So we're going to try and pick up like a min price of one for about a thousand coins. Again, max price you need to set and you need to change. However, with this sniping, you just press triangle to search and then triangle to go back. But the reason why this sniping filter is even faster, as you can see, it's basically an instant search. There's less of an animation on the searches compared to on the normal transfer market. Again, I do prefer sniping on the usual transfer market, but if you really want maximum speed for your sniping, this is of course the way to go. So I'm going to try and pick up a deal in this sniping filter. You also don't have to press as many buttons when you find a card, but I feel like the muscle memory for the transfer market sniping, I am just very used to. 1400 and we picked it up so you can see here the snipe is a lot faster but of course it takes a little bit more of getting used to and i feel like it's a little bit clunky out once you well to set up your filter but we can list up this anyomi for 1800 coins again let me know what sniping method you prefer again the one in the club is faster you probably save again it's, it's probably milliseconds it's less than a second but you can see that the buys are a lot faster when you do, in fact, find the cards on the market. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Smash that like button if you want me to drop some sniping filters and be sure to subscribe because if the support is there, I will give you guys sniping filters. Again, let me know which sniping filter do you prefer. Do you like the standard transfer market one or do you like the one during the club? Again, I feel like you might find more success with the squad club sniping because it is slightly faster. Of course, you can actually even snipe on the web app, companion app, but I'm not really the biggest fan. I do have a dedicated video on web app sniping. For example, if you don't have the game yet, you can still snipe on the web app. So I'll try and link that video down below. If you can't find it, it will be on my channel. Also, drop some comments what content you want to see from me this year, whether it be sniping filter, trading methods, maybe a trading series or a sniping series general SBCs, tutorials, etc. Again, I will be pumping out the content for you. It's pretty hype this year. EAFC, FIFA is over. We're on to a new start. And yeah, hope you enjoyed again. Thanks for watching. Share this with your friends as well if they will find that helpful. And I'll see you in my next video.